That's my way of saying it's music week on Thingamavlogs. Disney is known for its world-renowned, award-winning music. Time and time again, they come out with classics that last generations. Now, when you think of Disney music, traditionally you think of things like I can show you the world and part of your world. Why are so many Disney songs about worlds? But what really makes a Disney movie a classic are Disney villains. And what better way to tell the stories of the villains than to sing about them? That's right, today we're gonna go over my top five Disney villain songs. It even has five words in it. It's pretty good, right? Number five on my list is Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians. What's interesting about this song is that it's actually not sung by the villain. It's sung by one of the heroes of the story, Roger, Pongo's owner. And I think it's important because it really highlights just how evil Cruella is. But what makes her more evil is the fact that Roger made this song up on the spot. She's so evil that he could just pick random evil things out of his imagination and sing about them, and the song's about Cruella de Vil. Also interesting is this song is one of those super Disney earworms where you hear it once and for the rest of the day, you're just gonna be walking around singing Cruella de Vil. Regardless of whether or not you even know the words, Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil, no evil thing will. Number four on my list is Hellfire from the HB of Notre Dame. That's, that's Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah, so this song isn't really about the villain. It's more about the villain singing about his internal struggle and turmoil. Um, but hands down, obviously, we've said this time and time again, it is the most low-down, evil, vile song ever written and ever plays in a Disney movie. This song is crazy, and for that fact, it has to be in my top five just because it's so outlandishly villainous. I mean, God, Frollo, YOLO. I'll never say that again, I promise, I promise. Number three on my list is the Oogie Boogie song, whoa, wow. Sorry about that. Again, one of those other infectious Disney earworms. Not to mention that the visual sequence in the movie itself is amazing. I mean, they've got the black lights and the kind of Dio de los Muertos vibe and the bugs and the question mark and all this sort of random iconography all over the place associated with Oogie Boogie. He's such a cool villain. I also like that this song is one of the upbeat songs in a sort of movie about like scary things and he's the villain. So it has a lot of juxtaposition and dichotomy in it. And I, and I really dig that. I really like that when the villain is colorful and bright. Number two on my list is Poor Unfortunate souls from The Little Mermaid. First of all, Ursula. Yas Queen! You know what I'm saying? This song makes my list particularly because of the fact that when I was a kid, I had no idea what she was saying. Like 90% of the diction used in this song is things that little children have like no concept of. The song uses the words idle prattle. Additionally, dote and swoon and fawn. And the way she says it in a sentence, let alone the words, are kind of like obscure words for a kid, but the way she structures them in the song, and they dote and swoon and fawn for the lady who's withdrawn. Like, first of all, that's lyrically beautiful. The way that was written and structured, Mwah, genius. But as a child, for me, it was just one lump of words pronounced as if my mouth was full of marbles. And they blow to tune to palm from the lady with the song. I don't, I didn't know, and I didn't care. That's how good the song is. I don't even have to know it. And finally, number one should not surprise anybody because it's about one of my favorite Disney characters of all time, and that, of course, Huh, is Gaston. Most commonly, the way you get to learn about the internal motivation of a villain is through their song. They sing about their plan, they sing about their desires, they sing about what it's all for and how great they are. What I like about the song Gaston is it's about everyone else singing about how amazing Gaston is. And he's so pumped about everyone singing about how amazing he is that at some point he just decides to jump in and sing about how amazing he is. The song is ridiculous. Another fun thing about this song is you could literally make up words on the floor and apply them to the theme of Gaston, and it will almost always work. Let's see, let's see, uh, off the top of my head. Um, no one vlogs like Gaston, kisses frogs like Gaston, puts on running shoes and goes for jogs like Gaston. <laughs> I don't know why my brain defaulted to frogs and jogs, but, but it rhymed with vlogs. <laughs> You see what I mean? The song parodies itself, it's so good, and it is my number one favorite Disney villain song. Now that's only a handful of the Disney villain songs that are out there, so in the comments below, let me know what your favorite Disney villain song is. Is it Be Prepared from The Lion King, or is it Friends on the Other Side from The Princess and the Frog? So do it, do it, do it now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. Bye.